TD Snap has editing functions that will allow you to lock out access to many of the icons across the top title bar here. Um, this is useful to prevent a user from inadvertently changing vocabulary or the language from deleting or moving content on the screen. And this is a different tool than guided access. So in order to set this, we're going to click on the editing icon in the upper right corner of the screen. And we're going to go into the system tab, which is the last tab on the option at the bottom. Once you click on system, that will... Um, fill up the half of the screen, but you can also use these double arrows to minimize or show uh, the contents of these screens. So we're under system, and the very first uh, option here under the system tools are for preferences, and we see that the passcode is currently off. We're going to click on that item and tell it that we would like to use a passcode. It's going to ask for a four-digit passcode. It is best not to use something that the student will easily guess, like one, two, three, four, but to make it something that the team will certainly be able to remember. I'm going to use one, three, five, seven here, an odd number sequence. It's going to ask me to do that a second time. You can also use the four-digit uh, phone number for the school. It is often a, a good password to use. Something the students may not know readily, but the team would be able to uh, remember or access as needed. So that passcode set now. If you only wanted this for certain tools in the toolbar, you can certainly select or deselect these items as you see fit. For example, search mode is useful for a student to find vocabulary, so that's one that I might uncheck there. But everything else we want to protect with the passcode. Now that we've entered in our code twice, we hit done, and that protection is on. So I can still do a search for frog. <clears throat> Go ahead and say my answer. Frog. But if I try to come in to edit or access any of these other tools at the top, it's going to ask me for a passcode before I can do that. You want to enter these in without the student seeing it, so you don't defeat the purpose of having the passcode. But each time you go to plug in or access one of these tools that was locked, you'll be prompted to enter that code. If you're doing a lot of editing, it's uh, often helpful to come into system and turn that passcode off so that you're not having to plug that in a whole bunch of times if you've got uh, five or six buttons to program. I'm going to go ahead and leave mine off at this point in time, but that Passcode protection of your menu is a very valuable tool when you have a student making changes. Mm -hmm.